Senator Marco Rubio, Republican from Florida, has criticized the disparity in federal payouts between recent immigrants and Social Security recipients. Speaking on the Senate floor, Rubio highlighted the differences in benefits received by Cuban refugees who have worked for decades in the U.S. and earned Social Security, compared to recent immigrants and refugees who receive substantial financial support despite not having contributed to the system. Rubio expressed frustration that recent immigrants who have not paid into Social Security receive more benefits than longtime Cuban residents who have been part of the American workforce for years. He illustrated this by noting that South Florida residents who arrived from Cuba decades ago and worked their entire lives receive around $800 to $1,000 monthly from Social Security, whereas recent arrivals receive up to $1,500 in benefits. He also mentioned instances where these new arrivals frequently return to their home countries despite being classified as refugees. Rubio stated, that refugee a year later is traveling back to Cuba 15 times. So you're a refugee fleeing oppression from a place that you now go back and visit 15 times the following year. Rubio's comments reflect his concern over the allocation of resources and the perceived inequity between Social Security recipients and recent immigrants. He argued that it makes no sense for longtime contributors to the system to receive less support than able-bodied newcomers who immediately qualify for substantial benefits. Supporting Rubio's claims, data from the 2020 Survey of Income and Program Participation SIPPP, shows that immigrant households are more likely to receive benefits from means-tested government programs than U.S.-born households. In 2022, 54% of immigrant-headed households used at least one major welfare program, compared to 39% of U.S.-born households. This rate rises to 59% for non-citizen households. The analysis revealed that immigrant households show particularly high usage of food programs, Medicaid, and the Earned Income Tax Credit. Even when excluding certain programs, 46% of immigrant households and 33% of U.S.-born households utilized at least one major welfare program. The data indicates that most immigrant households are nuclear families, debunking the notion that extended family presence leads to higher welfare use, 